effect of wind. Take a look at the vessel as she is navigating on her course. If there are no external forces acting on the vessel, she will be on track as per the plan. Now imagine if she encounters strong currents. Do you notice her course? The effect of the current has drifted her from the planned course. The current is always named by the direction it is being pushed. That is, if the current is moving easterly, the set is named east. Similarly, if she should encounter strong wind during her passage, she will again be drifted away from her course. The wind is named by the direction from where it is acting. That is, if the wind is blowing from the west, the leeway is named west. Remember this quick reminder: current from, wind to. Imagine the vessel on a voyage that encounters both wind and current simultaneously. The resultant of both these forces. This places the vessel from a track, as it is seen here. The vessel moves according to the stronger force in play. In this case, the current is stronger, which has to be corrected accordingly. In this example, the ship's course and speed is given, currents set, and drift is given, and you are required to find the course made good. From point A, draw the ship's course zero five five degrees and mark. Twelve nautical miles on this course. The vessel is supposed to be here if there were no other forces. But during this one hour, current was setting at 145 degrees by two knots. So from point B, draw another line of 145 degrees and mark two miles in the same direction of set. Mark this point C. This is where the ship will be after one hour. Measure the line AC, which is the actual course made good and speed made good by the ship for that one hour of steaming. In the previous example, if the leeway, or in other words, effect of wind, was two degrees west for the same time, you are required to find the course and speed made good. If the leeway is two degrees west, then it means the wind is blowing in a westerly direction. Remember the thumb rule: current from. Wind two. Now imagine a constant two degrees west wind acting on the course line AC. This will offset the ship towards west of the present course. So move the line AC by two degrees west. Now the line AC meets the line BC at a new position E. So by the end of the hour, the vessel will be effectively in position E. Measure the line AE. Which will be the actual course made good and speed made good, resultant of the current and the wind for the time period.